alive until the return of the damned and the fact that they kept a fairly low profile for a long time, that perhaps they'd sold out or they'd compromised. I would have thought that the, the development of the music was almost inevitable. Yeah, it has to be, really. I mean, that's the whole point when uh, we all started, all the bands at that particular uh, point in time, the Clash, the... Uh, you think that was strange, it was all those di different bands had separate sounds, none of them sounded alike, and they all, I think they all adapted and changed in many ways. I think it was the next wave of uh, punk music that got uh, pigeonholed by the press, if you like, and they thought that, you know, it was just three chords and something about being on the dole and all that, when in fact it never was. It was, uh, it was just being, uh, the love for the music itself, you know, and the optimism or whatever, and the excitement generated by that time. Has your attitude changed since the early days to what you're doing? I don't really think so. You know, um, I mean, obviously some things do change, but we still, we want to take risks all the time with music. I and mean, it would have been easy to have uh, done five albums, all of, of standard sort of punk songs, like New Rose or whatever, which is a good song, but if we'd done albums like that, it would have been a real cop-out, I think. Now, now this way we're we're keeping it exciting for us and everybody else. I hope you know. it does. Obviously, it sort of demands more on the people who listen to our music because they don't know if the next album is going to change completely or what direction we're going to go in. What uh, difference do you think uh, has the involvement of Bryn and Roman uh, made from the uh, original lineup when you set out and indeed since the Captain left? Well, obviously the band's gone through many changes, but. Uh, we never really had a, a good bass player as such before. I think Bryn is very good as much as he makes rap uh, work harder. You know, he's more conscious of keeping time with the songs. Therefore, there's a nice um, steady backbeat to everything, a solid, rather than it getting too chaotic and the song's getting lost. And of course, the speed of the song is very important. Because it's a lot harder um, with the song to stay or maintain an edge and not, you know, go a million miles an hour to actually keep it back slightly than it is just to go on one, two, three, four, and it's all very fast. And Roman, um, with a, this, the emphasis of who writes the songs is basically on my shoulders and Roman's now, the guitarist. So that's also changed. Because I mean, Captain wrote a lot when he was a band. Brian James wrote the first album and most of the second album. Uh, so yeah, there's a big difference there. The single from earlier in 85, Grimly Fiendish, I believe, was, uh, I think, was your highest chart placing. Uh, does that make you feel any different? Were you pleased about that? I was, I was obviously pleased that it, it's in the charts. It means a lot of discerning music that I was applying our records. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you know, it does make it worthwhile. I mean, we've been at it a fair time. In nine years is, a, is quite a bit. And when you actually see things happening like that, it does cheer you up a bit. I mean, we went through a very bad time where uh, I think many other bands would have just called it a day and split up, but through, you know, sheer, I don't know, doggedness to what we do, we kept going, luckily.